Okay, today we're going to talk about the Microsoft Magnifier, part of the ease of access package that comes with your computer. The computers now being those with Windows 7 and Windows 8. If you do have an older computer than that, you will have the magnifier under your accessories programs. The new magnifier with the Windows 7 and Windows 8 is a little easier to use because of the interface that comes with it, which I will display and show to you. And also it's easier to load the magnifier. We don't have to go through all our programs, menus, and accessories to find it. The magnifier is launched in the following way. I press my Windows logo or start key and there is a small edit area at the bottom left hand side of the screen. So I will type in magnifier. I press my enter key to bring up my magnifier. You don't really see a lot of magnification so I would like to move the magnifier just a little bit so that you can see it did magnify quite extensively. My icons are very, very large. Um, I'm going to try to just bring it down a little bit so that you'll know it can be adjusted. I'm going to hit my Windows key and my minus key to bring it down a little bit. And we're coming down just, just enough to see a difference. Now we're going to come up just enough to see a difference. I spoke with you a little while ago about the interface. That's how you can make changes to your magnification window and colors and other things that you might want to change. Now, the window is not really there right now, so I'm going to see my magnifier on the screen, a real magnifier that I can click on. And there is my user interface which will enable me to do a few things with my mouse if you care to use the mouse. Here I am using a minus key that if I want to bring down my magnification I can. Here I use a plus key that if I want to bring up my magnification I can. And here is the result again of how I brought it up. I right now have what's known as a lens on the screen. The lens is a smaller magnifier. It doesn't fit the whole screen. However, there are ways to bring up a larger magnifier. Now, here's a larger one. We got the whole screen covered, and I think that's very important. The Older versions of this magnification system did not allow for us to have the whole screen magnified. It's a little tricky because I'm going to show you how on the screen I got my pointer. Right underneath my pointer is the magnifying glass again. I'm going to use that again if I need to make adjustments later on. So you want to keep your eyes open all the time. And I say that gently because not everybody can. And so don't get too disheartened if you do lose this from the screen. We'll try to be patient and, and find it in whatever way we can when the need arises. I do want you to see how, how all these items are a little bit bigger now with our magnifier. So that especially if you go into a program, how much nicer and bigger it all is. And I still have my magnifier on the screen, which is which is very important. And if I do want to write a couple of numbers, they're, they're very, very legible. What I would like to do, though, now is to show you that we can vary this magnifier so that it doesn't cover the whole screen. Maybe you're going to want to see the whole screen and part of it magnified and part of it not magnified. So we can try that. And I just want to make sure I get the right key combination there. And here we are with part of the screen magnified. And 
it gives you a good perspective if you have a reasonable amount of vision that you can look at your other icons and see other things that are on the screen because maybe at this particular moment in time all you have to see is the numbers you're working with and to make sure they're very legible. However, a lot of us just don't like this white background and the black writing or font or uh, so what you want to do is try to show that you can invert this and there's our inversion the black background and the white text so I can kind of show you can have all these items and and then you can put your formula in there and you'll be able to see what you're doing and you'll have your answer to the formula that you put in and then, then when you're satisfied and you want to go back to the other inverted colors you can do that okay and then this is is really what's known as the docked view if you do want this is what's called your lens and right now it's a pretty big lens and you can make that smaller if need be I think it's I think it's gets small when when you do adjust it let's just see what what our options are here if we can make it smaller oh look at we can try I think this says taller this says smaller I believe just see come down come over this way we're just using tracking bars and I'm gonna look for an OK button which probably got hidden but I think I'm gonna try to work this out so that I can move my box over and find my button there we go I believe I made the lens smaller now that you can play with it move it around I'm going to see how my arrow keys work if I can move the I can. Okay, so if I want to come all the way down, I can come all the way down. Let's see. Just about as far as I'm going to go right now and go over and see see my clock, etc. Uh, but I do want to show you you can come back and forth to your different programs. Right now, I, I did find the magnifier interface by all tabbing again. I find it uncomfortable sometimes to be far away from me, so I move it over a little bit. And it doesn't always get bigger when I want it to. I'm going to have to look for... Oh, there we go. This, this really helps when you find the real magnifier. and try to, I think what's happening, and I, I didn't really realize that it was getting bigger, bigger down here in the lens part. I was making it very, very large in the lens. So I'm gonna bring it down like so. Okay, so now my lens is getting smaller again. And uh, the last thing I do wanna show you with this is that you do have a nice interface to work with, with, with the lens. However, what I do want to show you is uh, that you can use your option to, it says, um, let's see, the magnifier can start when I log on. So if you want to have that happen, you got to click on that. Okay, and then you set your options all, all in the ease of access area. There's the narrator. Turn on magnifier. There it is. That's a little tricky to find that, okay? But if you can do that, if you can find all that and you apply, when you start your computer, your magnifier will start. Always in this section. Okay, now I just have to be careful to remind myself that 
that's going to happen because I may may not always want it to start. So what I'm going to do is, since this little lens is a little awkward, I'm going to try to make it a little easier for myself. I do find it easier when it's enlarged. I think I don't want to start the narrator, but that's okay. We'll hear it if it starts. I'm going to turn off the magnifier now just to show you that we can do that. Just shut it. I'm minimizing it now. Okay, so now it's down here. Now I'm going to just turn it off because I think that we did, we did enough with the magnifier maybe for a little while. Oops. Okay, now that's, that's about the essentials.